I so cracked much over my fun. house. He's not gonna be happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So is this about the max you've had out here oh, so yeah, far? Oh. Sure Good thing we sent Becky to Honduras. <laughs> <laughs> Make you work for that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and there's no name on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Dale Sue. Dale Sue. Oh, that's a good one. You're so famous, Dale. <laughs> Dale Sue. Uh, never had oh. how that got started. You didn't ever hear the story about the soup? Uh-uh. It's a Rita going to bed. No, okay. You go ahead. I heard it. The Rita, Rita knows. knows it. Go ahead. Okay. When Esther had Rita, she was in the hospital, mm -hmm. and Becky came and stayed by me. Okay. Well, when Becky came, she had a sore throat. But as she was there a few days, she got sicker, and she wouldn't eat anything. And I wanted her to eat so bad, and she just wouldn't eat. And I didn't want her to go home getting skinny and you know, <laughs> looking bad. So I tried to bribe her with everything. Well, finally, I had a can of Campbell's vegetable beef soup. And Dale liked that one. Well, I opened it, and I said to Becky, Now, this is Dale's soup. You'll like this. And she ate it. She mm. ate a bowl of Dale soup. So ever since then, that's been Dale soup. He could have probably know that was Dale yeah. soup. Yeah. 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 So on our 60th anniversary, we got a package all done up nice, you know, mm -hmm. and opened it up here with a can of Campbell soup. Oh. <laughs> Just like this oh. here. So that's a thing with Becky. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 That's, that's Dale soup. So all her kids grow, grew up to have Dale soup. Oh, Vegetable yeah. beef is Dale soup. Yeah. Yeah. We had Dale soup at home all the time. Okay. <laughs> didn't know it. After Rita was born, we never had it before. But. No, I don't think we ever had it before. I think no. that's one of the reasons it had I its own right. name yep. because we, never we had must had have had a deprived beef. childhood or something because yeah. we didn't ever have it. Well, we had chicken thing, noodle. That was the first thing I could get her to eat. Yeah. 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 So when she went home, her little face looked kind of peaked and she was kind of pale. Uh, and I didn't want Esther to think I didn't take good care of her. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she would have thought that. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, oh, funny. So what would you, well, Becky would have been four. How many years older than Becky are you, Dale? One. One, One year. Yeah. One year. Oh. Oh. Becky, Becky is in August, same. isn't she? Yes. 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 Good. So, uh, wow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's just a year. Dale's in June. Oh, okay. So yeah. a little over... Yeah, just a little over a year. So then Dale was in kindergarten. And Becky and then, was about uh, four. Becky was four years old. Yeah. yeah. So I took her up to school one day, up to visit school in the morning. So she did that after, well, she was there about a week. And then it was almost to the end of the week when I took her up to school. And so she enjoyed that, and she ate Dale's soup. Okay. <laughs> so she ate once in a week anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so then when I brought her home, I thought, oh, my, don't let her look too bad. <laughs> and I called Dr. Post office, and the bridge was closed at that time. You had to go way around. Oh. You know. So I talked to Mrs. Post and I told her what Becky had and so on. So she told me what to do for her and so on. She said, I don't think it's anything to worry about, but if she gets sick, bring her in. So I had doctor orders what to do for her. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So then Rita, she was laying in bed there with her mama. Yeah. <laughs> it was all because of me. We have Dale soup today. <laughs> yep. So now we, we'll have Dale soup. There you go. Mm -mm. <laughs> and I will have time to read my book and I can work my puzzle. There you yeah, go. go. You can smell good while you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, you can smell good. And I can smell nice while I'm doing it. <laughs> yes. Oh, I bet Lissy's going to like that. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're having <laughs> in six. You can amaze your friends with obscure facts preceded by I remember when. <laughs> and oh, five, you can take bets on which part of your body will conk out next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Conk out? Yeah. The, the, 
part that conked out the most is my knees. <laughs> okay, four. Your kids finally grow up and move out. <laughs> I move back in. Okay. That worked out well. Nodding off at inappropriate times is considered quaint rather than rude. <laughs> and two, creative use of a hearing aid allows you to hear only what you want to hear. <laughs> but it doesn't always hear, let you hear what you do want to hear. <laughs> and best things about getting older. Every birthday you have gives people another chance to make a big fuss over you and say things like, how great you look <laughs> for an old person. <laughs> Happy birthday. Okay, we love That's making hilarious. a fuss over you and Helen, and we really do love you, your stories. I'm so thankful to have you to enjoy love, Shirley. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I really do appreciate this very much and the love that you all show me not only now but before you always showed me a lot of love and that really means a lot to me yep and you mean a lot to us you, yes. sure do. Yep. you are and i think boy what a lot of nice nieces and nephews you and nurses <laughs> and girls <laughs> well, I got to something to it, I don't it isn't everybody that gives me a kiss every day. Yeah. <laughs> my mustache kiss. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's special. So, but I don't, I, you are my last aunt. I don't have any aunts left. You don't no. have any more See? Yeah. So you, you, you know, you've had to fill in. Yeah. Uh -huh. a big job. Yes. <laughs> a big See, job. you are it. Yeah. Well, well, anyway, I do, I do appreciate this, and I think it was just a very nice party, and I'm so glad, I'm so glad Kathy was free to come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Was really was she opened her yeah. Is she so happy? <laughs> yep. Yeah. And we're glad that you're not free next week. Yeah. 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 Her timing yeah. is yeah. really, really yeah. good. Yeah. Good job next week. Where are you going? That's uh, when to we drop the light. Oh, 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 she knows him too. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see now. The beginning. The beginning. Like today you were starting to tell about something about your mom. That when you were born, she was sick and you were nine well, pounds. She had scarlet fever. She okay. was in bed with scarlet fever oh. when I was born. Oh. And you're the youngest. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Are you the youngest? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Wilma was eight years older and Margaret was five years older. Okay. And me. Okay. So anyway, mom was sick with scarlet fever and the doctor didn't get there because it was a bad snowstorm. Oh. So Wilma went run next door. She was eight years old. She went running next door and got the neighbor lady over there to help. Oh. And Wilma helped. Really? Eight little eight year old girl. And oh mom, my Yeah. God. And mom oh. didn't know she didn't know what to do. And here I come along, a nine pounder. Oh. And it took quite a few hours, I guess. And uh, but it all Wow. I'm here. Where did you live? <laughs> in McBain. Oh, this was up north. Yeah, in McBain I lived. What are you doing, Becky? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what is she doing? Is that a movie? Mm -hmm. She's probably taking a video. Maybe. Ignore her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, the first time I went with Bob, I was 15 years old. Oh, oh shame oh, on you. I, was, I, I walked home from Lamont Church. From We had society at night, Young People's Society. We didn't have church. And us girls all walked home. And then the boys would all come along in their cars and follow us home and try to make a date with us. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So well, that's maybe what you're thinking yeah. about. Yeah. Okay, so Bob was riding with Ed Putgetter, who lived here in Elmdale. He had a coupe with a wormhole seat. So Ed, he picked up a girl, and then Bob asked me, so he helped me get in the rumble seat, so that's where we rode that night. Rode home in the rumble seat. And I didn't like him. I didn't, just didn't care about him at all. I don't know what there was about him, but didn't care about him. So that was when I was 15. Well, he didn't ask me out again either, so he probably didn't like me. Either. And so and then my folks moved to Allendale when I was 17. 
and they moved in that little house where Ed and Elsie Brandenhorst lived. But then Ed and Elsie got married, so they wanted their little house. So then Dad and Mom bought a house toward Bower, almost to the Bower Road. That's where I got married, in that house. Oh. And, uh, but anyway, when we was living in the house in Allendale, in the one of Ed and Elsie's, Ben and Wilma were ho over for supper that Sunday night. Wilma said to me, you know, a good guy would, for you to go with would be Bob Zastra. She said, he doesn't go with Mary anymore. Well, Ben's sister Mabel and Mary were like this. They were neighbors together. And Ben's sister went with Jack Zalstra, and Mary went with Bob. They only had one car, so they had to divide their time with their car. But anyway, she said to me, you ought to go with Bob. He'd be a nice guy for you to go with. Well, I didn't think so. And you know that that same night we got through eating supper and a car drove in the yard and it was before church. The car drove in the yard and here Bob came to the door. My dad went to the door and Bob wanted to know if, if I was there, if he could talk to me and so oh, sure. So I went and talked to Bob. Well he wanted me to go to Lamont Society with him. Well I wasn't going to be walking in Lamont Society where everybody knew me, my friends. and. The first time I ever went with them. So I said, no, I didn't think so. Well, if I'd come, if he'd come after society, if he'd come back then after church to pick me up. Well, I said, it would be okay. Okay. So I was playing hard to get. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, we got it. I got it. he come back. So Jack and Mabel were in the front seat. That's his brother Jack and then this girl, other girl. And uh, so I was in the back seat with Bob, and by the time we got from our house, where Ed and Elsie lived, to the cement, he would give me a kiss already. Oh! <laughs> Mover! I thought, boy, I don't know about this guy. <laughs> you were irresistible. Yeah, but anyway, he, uh, I didn't let that happen again, right? Now. <laughs> so anyway, they t I said, well, they had to take me back to town then, because I was going to ride home with Ben and Wilma. Well, they would take me back to town, so they did that. Well, then Mabel, she didn't like the idea that I was going to ride along with her and Jack, so she was going to break up with Jack. <laughs> yeah. So Bob said, well, you only have that one car. So Bob said to Jack, well, then you better find some other person to go with, because he was going to take me, whether Mabel liked it or not. So that's the way our romance started. <laughs> so this was Bob then with Brother Jack. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And they had a they had an old Plymouth big old Plymouth car, okay. and uh, that's what they took me back to town in. Well, then the next time Bob came alone, and I don't know where Jack went, but he got a ride with somebody else, I guess. And. Uh, uh. So much good. for the double date, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, good. That was the story cute. I was looking for. Yep. So that's the one you was probably yep, thinking. Yep, it is. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay.